As you can see, I need to clean this thing. Uh, cook some ribs on it. Some fall off the bone ribs, actually. And uh, they came out real good. But uh, I'm gonna show you how I clean this thing and remove all the ashes. This is the Lexington uh, Pit Boss because I know a lot of you guys have this exact one. Uh, yeah, I hear y'all's comments quite frequently on it. We're just gonna go ahead and remove both these grates. And yeah, I need to get, yeah, it needs it. I <laughs> need to do this even more frequent. All this stuff will catch fire, so we need to get rid of all of that stuff off of there. This right here, we're gonna remove and this plate will come out. This little shield, which will clean that off. And then right down in here, you see all those ashes built up? Yeah, it definitely needs done. I probably should do it more frequent, but you can see a lot of the ashes pile up here, uh, but down in here, a bunch of different ashes now you can remove this in many ways but this is how i did it's pretty simple shop back so i've got this plugged up and we're just gonna bring it right on out Look at that, all the ashes cleaned out. I'm gonna be cooking a lot of stuff here in a couple weeks. Uh, so I wanna get it clean, and it's good to keep it clean every few cooks, or after a long cook especially. I do a lot of miniature cooks on here, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean the grate and put it back on. Also right here is a temperature sensor you should clean uh, once in a while. Check out my other video. I uh, show, you me, uh, show myself cleaning that. And then afterwards, you can see I've got everything put back together. Got the shield on down below. Got all of the burnt stuff off of that. The ashes are clean. The grates are clean them and everything. So got that. This right here is just a, uh, I have a sensor that I put in here when I'm cooking. Uh, just so I can monitor the temperature inside the grill from my phone. Uh, which I'll tell you a story about that. And that's just yesterday, a matter of fact, when I was cooking those ribs. Um, we had some electrical work being done and at first we turned the power off to the wrong outlet to do the work i said that's not the right one got the correct one on not knowing we had turned off the pellet grill when it was cooking ribs and we replaced the plug and a little later i got on my phone and i looked and i said whoa the temperature is is it's only 130 degrees uh, went out there and what had happened is i realized the wrong power had got turned off so the phone and that device, at least I looked at it. Of course, it's good to monitor your grill. Uh, nice little thing to have. So luckily, I caught that. Uh, but that's how you clean this. This is not a how-to channel for the most part. It's mostly cooking videos, but I've found videos I do put on here. Uh, how-to things, and some fireworks are going off. It's well past the fourth. Uh, to do, tend to do quite well. And uh, so I thought I'd put this one out here. Probably do some more in the future. It's uh, outdoor cooking, some spicy videos, and a tutorial or a how-to video once in a while. My name's John on the Oki Smoking Channel, and well, keep on firing up that grill.